Hey, kid. Want this sandwich? I don't. But my doggy Woggy Tad sure would love it. Sandwiches are his favorite. Thanks. Hey, Annie. Think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Sure. I was going to share it with Tad, but that sandwich sure will fill his widow belly up good. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Annie. You're a good kid. It's a carton of dolphin's milk that Annie gave me. Hey, milk is milk, right? About that going away gift... I take it you've made a wise decision. I'll have the coffee mug. An uh, interesting choice, sir. There you are. Be seeing ya. I wish you would reconsider. Good day. It's my, uh, going-away gift. Nifty. I think I want to keep this one black. Stairs leading up to the rooms. Olmstein must be up there. Man, I really want to walk up them right this instant. If we go upstairs, we do it together. I'm afraid I can't do it without Finman's permission. Zadok, I've brought you something. What? What is it, boy? Coffee. What? Get the gosh darned abomination out of my face! Hmm, this gives me an idea. I gotta run. Run, boy! Never return! It's old man Zadok's bottle. He tends to throw them when he's angry. Might as well pick it up. Nah, I'll do it. It now says it's exotic liquor. It's empty though. I gotta run. Run, boy! Never return! Nah, I don't need any oil. I 
I think I want to pour something else inside first. I take <laughs> serve him his own coffee. Yeah, sure. It's Kitty. Your um, digging the harbor, kitty. Yeah, man, thinking of settling here and living a peaceful life of fishing out rotten tuna carcasses and watching the sun go down behind Devil's Reef over there. No, you don't. Focus, Buzz. Focus. What are your thoughts on the Zadok situation now, partner? The man clearly stated he hates coffee. You bring him coffee. What else is there to be said? What if he didn't know it was coffee, huh? Huh? The coffee mug was sort of a dead giveaway, Einstein. Hey, that's how you work these things out, one bumble at a time. Now, we know what we need to change. We do? We do. Thoughts on Finman? Uh, wouldn't want him as my neighbor. Or rather, my anything. I meant, how do we get past him and reach Olmstein? He's a more intense guy. I think we need to apply more intense measures. Murder? And he jumps straight to murder. That's telling, you know. Dial it back a little, killer. Hmm. Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. What is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? Says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. It's supposed to have a real kick to it. L let me see that. Hmm. <sighs> Smells like nothing I ever smelt before. And I can't say it's bad either. Whew, what is this devilry, boy? Kind of got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Whew, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return, if that's all right with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Puzz. Hey, you remembered my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmet? What is it you want to know, Buzz? Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmet? Where do I begin, my friend? See, you're stuck of a curse that runs through most of Fishmet's residence blood. Turn them into fish and toad-like things. And then, 
They dig through the water, but that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliott Street. Seen them. Hideous fishmen and octopus-like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Heard their awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse? Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The Butcher. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the Butcher? <laughs> I don't know that, Buzz. But I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for their evil festival. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon! Fishman folks worshipping the Deep Ones! Dagon's their high priest! Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing! That's what the festival's about! Worshipping Dagon! In sacrifices they bring to him! Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder the thing, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Kraken Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofer. Half go what? The half goofer. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. Ever heard of a man called Bob Olmstein? Can't say I ever did. He's supposed to be staying at the Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks lodging there have a habit of disappearing without a trace. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. God bless you, boy. Take care. Better talk to him. Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. <coughs> ah, well, that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! <laughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either, my roommate. W wait a minute, care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. I'm returning his cat. It got lost around the docks. I found it, so here I am. That is a very special cat indeed, but it's not Mr. Olmstein's. You are trying to deceive me. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run, or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case... We can talk.
my heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumbled into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir, and this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kid type. Exactly, and then they kidnap him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? Well, it's gotta be real. Made my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is! Huh. An exception will be made. We'll walk up to his room and we'll see from there.